what I was about to say, though. I heard what you were saying about a lot of people who have lost faith for one reason or the other, for one brother or sister in the nation of Islam or other, and run off somewhere and, and sock it in their own blood. My thing is, we didn't write a letter to the believer on the left or the right. We didn't pledge to the minister of a mosque. We didn't pledge our life to uh, the believing body or, or, or the, the nation of Islam Muslim community. We pledged our life and death to Allah God. And for that reason, we don't, we're not supposed to leave. The general order to quit your post only when properly relieved. Who relieved you of your post? Just because somebody hurt your feelings. You didn't leave America when white folks hurt your feelings. But now here we come with a, uh, with, with a program of salvation and your feelings get so rickety. You can run off and leave. That's because we don't love each other. When we begin to love each other, we won't be so easy to leave. You was in the bar, people step on your foot, you know, you have a fight, and you cuss each other out, but you won't reach back to the bar and drink with them. Next week, somebody insulted your wife, or insulted you out at the party. Next week, you were right there again. But what is it about when we come into the unity of God? The first thing that you feel let down with, you got to run off and say, I can't go back there with them people. I can't do it. That's because we have not learned to love each other. We'll never be free until we learn to fall in love with each other again. We used to love each other, man. That man wiped that out. I guess that answered your question, didn't it? Yes, sir. I'm appreciative to have discussed some of the things that have happened over the years that have brought us up into this day and time under the leadership of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. But you know, when you're planting a seed, Sometimes people are looking to see all of the results instantly. But if you understand how a farmer's work goes, he plants the seed as Jesus planted the seeds in his time. And the seeds germinate down the road of life. An example of that is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teaching that was amplified by the great luminaries that brought his teachings to light and the number one student of that category of luminaries has been and is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And the seeds that he helped to plant, because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, mainly we only seen him once a year on Savior's Day, but we heard him almost all the time through the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in the rebuilding as well as in the first building. And the seed that you plant, you have to have patience to see the end results. Today we live in a society that many people never joined the Nation of Islam under the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But the, all of them were affected by it. All of them were influenced by it give you an example of such. The average youth today didn't come up like we did. They didn't come up in Sunday school. They didn't come up in the church because that grip had been broken. And if you were to go to the average young person today who take interest into wanting to be a part of faith, 90% of them, the only faith that they, if they were to get into religion, the only faith that they would join is Islam. And 40 years ago, if you would have asked the same question, the only faith they would have joined was Christianity as it had been explained by the white man. So today the world has turned. So we thank Allah for patience and perseverance so that we could see the yielding of a new day and a new experience. So I am grateful to have had a chance to just go through a few things. And maybe sometime in the imminent future, we may do it again. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sir. 
Alright, have a good one, Brother Bob. Even all the way around. Uh, next fade, 10th fade, take it down low. 10th fade. 